What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be playing this game called Line Up. So we're going to be playing as like detectives or police officers and we're going to have to sketch out on paper here what the criminal actually looks like with the hints that we are given and then we have to arrest whoever we think the criminal is. All right, here we go. Choose your cop. So we're going to play as this guy right here. Um, his nose kind of looks like a hot dog, like a mini hot dog, but we're going to ignore that for right now, all right? Because it's supposed to be us. So, he was wearing a green t-shirt. Draw a green t-shirt below. So, let's go ahead and choose the green color. This is, I think, just supposed to be like a tutorial. So, we're just going to see how the game works. I guess we're supposed to color it in. There we go. He was wearing a green shirt. That's our first hint. He also has black glasses. All right. So we're going to choose the black glasses. There we go. Give him some big old spectacles. And now we have to find out who it was. So it could be this guy because he's got on a green t-shirt. But it looks like he's missing some teeth. And he does not have glasses on at all. This guy does. Th this guy looks like he got beat up. And I don't know if that's a bandana or a beard. That is a woman. It's not him. We're looking for... Wait. Wait a second. No, he has a green t-shirt, dude. It's got to be this guy. And he's got glasses. What do you guys think? We didn't get any hints for the hair or anything like that. I'm going to go and arrest him. Go to jail for the rest of your life. You were guilty. That is a bad green shirt, man. We just got 100 bucks. Not bad for a little bit of work. All right, there we go. Arrested. Get in there, bro. You're about to eat dog food while you're in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next case. We could do the Jigsaw Jumbler, the Dizzy Intruder, or if we watch an ad, we can do the Award Show Swindler. I'm just going to go with the Dizzy Intruder for right now. Look at this guy. All right, the Intruder was very dizzy. I don't really know what we're supposed to draw for that. Um, I guess we could give him, like, dizzy eyes? Like that? I guess if you were- <laughs> If you were dizzy, you would look like that. They were also wearing a brown hat. Alright, so for brown, I guess just like- Uh, I'll, I'll go with, like, the lighter brown, I guess? And a hat. Should I give him, like, a baseball cap? If it was brown, it might look like- Oh, they, it wouldn't even let me draw that high. Okay, maybe like this? I think that's pretty good for a hat. What do you think? Hmm, well, that dude's got a cowboy hat on. This guy is looking kind of dizzy. He's seeing stars. I think he got hit by a car. I don't really know what's up with him. But he's not wearing a brown hat. His hat is red. This guy, brown cowboy hat, but uh, he's not looking very dizzy. This dude right here is sweating. Why are you sweating? Why do you have a clown nose? This girl is very dizzy, but she doesn't have a brown hat. Wait a second. We have a dizzy individual with a brown hat. I think that it's them. Arrest them. Uh, wait, did she just start drooling after we arrested her? <laughs> I think she's drooling because she's so happy to eat all the jail food. Oh, we got a new outfit. No, thanks. I don't need it. All right, what do we got up next, you guys? Oh, this guy, the barbershop burglar. That was the first guy that we put in jail. So his report card is that he's on time for visitors. He always follows orders, and he never tried to escape. All right, dude, you've done your time. You have served. Uh, go home, all right? Get out of here. Not only have we arrested the right people, but we have also done very, very good as detectives. Now, it's time to upgrade... Because we have a little money here. What are we upgrading? Oh, we upgraded our desk. Very nice. All right. It's just red now, I guess. So, we could do the jigsaw jumbler or the fake-nosed fraud. I kind of want to do the fake-nosed fraud. I want to see what it's like and why we have to watch another ad just to unlock this mission. All right, here we go. The red-nosed fraud? Is that what it was? Her hair was light brown. Okay, well, I think that this is the same color that we chose for the hat. So she's going to have some light brown hair. We'll go ahead and draw her some hair. There we go. I'm going to try to fill it in without messing up too much and going over the lines. Just like that. We'll give her some bangs. Looking good. All right. 
Clue number two, she had crazy eyes, which might be kind of how I drew the last person, where they were really dizzy. Let me just try and do my best here, making a woman with crazy looking eyes. We'll make them red. Yeah, they're red and crazy. I think that looks good. Third clue, she was in disguise. Wait, hold on a second, you guys. I think that they're actually trying to troll us here. We're going to go ahead and erase everything that we just drew. So this is supposed to be, I think, the hard one. She was in disguise, and they said that she had, like, a red nose and crazy eyes, huh? Hmm. I'm going to choose the color pink, and we're going to have a little fun with this, all right? Let's go ahead and draw a big circular pink head. Yeah, I think that this one was a pig. I think she had a red dress. So we're going to draw a nice red dress. Just like this, pretend like you don't see human body parts sticking out at the bottom because she is not human. She is a pig. That is exactly what I think she looked like. We're going to give her an arm just like that. She probably had a weapon as well, probably like a baseball bat or something. That's what I'm guessing. And if I had to guess, she would also have a glowing eye with the color of red right here. Yeah, that's who we're looking for. All right. You can't fool me at all. We'll draw the nostrils right there. There we go. Big old piggy nose. I don't want to use the color of black, but it's the only thing that would really stand out the most. And we can't forget about her piggy ears. Yes, you are a criminal piggy. I'm trying to color in the rest of her dress, but it won't let me color in like all the way down. I don't know if it's because it's like outside of the like human being picture that they have behind this so that's going to be it this is who we're looking for let's give her a bat because you already know she had a weapon i don't know what kind of crime she committed probably oofing too many people yeah i bet she had a bat that's actually kind of looking like a baguette um so i'm gonna try to like make it look like a weapon there we go i guess that is who we're looking for you guys the piggy finish who did it all right here we go who looks like a pig i don't even remember what they said the clues were other than crazy eyes this woman has crazy eyes and she's got kind of like a red dress on sort of i don't think it's her definitely not him because that that's a man i don't know who this is supposed to be because they have that oh that's a disguise as well could that be a pig underneath Hmm, crazy eyes, a disguise. Uh, but wasn't it brown hair, they said? Could be this person, but that person doesn't have crazy eyes. They're really going to try to make it hard on us. I'm really looking out for the disguise here. All right, disguise, crazy eyes, brown hair. Wait, why do these people look like they haven't taken a shower in like two years? Hmm, I think I'm going to go with... This person right here. This is Piggy. This is who we're looking for. Arrest her, officer. That's who we're looking for. Guilty. Come on. Let's go. We just got triple the cash. We cannot lose at this game, you guys. We're on a roll. We're almost to a new outfit. Ooh, that new outfit looked really good. But right now, we need to upgrade. What did we just upgrade? Did we get a telephone? Um, I think. I don't really know what it's showing. I think we just got a telephone. Why didn't we have one in the first place? All right, the world's smallest heist. That's another ad. The award show swindler. Let's go with the jigsaw jumbler. That's the one that we keep skipping. She was wearing an orange skirt. All right, I don't really know how to draw like this. A, a skirt, I guess. Those kind of look like shorts. I don't know, dude. All right, this is supposed to be, I think, the easiest one too. So this one should not be very difficult. All right, orange skirt. She had blonde hair. Okay, we'll give her some blonde hair. We'll give her like a nice little little haircut there. There you go. Who did it? This one's going to be super easy. Imagine if I get it wrong. All right, blonde hair. That's the first thing I'm looking for. And an orange skirt. It's you. It's 100% you. They only gave us two clues because that was supposed to be the first one that we were supposed to do, I think. The world's smallest heist. The robber was wearing purple. Purple, you say? Hmm. I think that we can give this individual a purple sleeveless shirt. They sound like they might be kind of tough. Yeah, they're going to wear like the muscle shirt. We're going to make it purple. 
I think that this one's supposed to be harder. They're only going to give us two clues on it. So I got to be extra cautious on who I choose with these clues. They're only going to give us two of them. It's going to be hard. Okay. Purple shirt. She had her hair tied up. Hmm. I thought it was going to be... I drew... I gave her a muscle shirt, dude. Let me... <laughs> let me give her, like, sleeves, I guess. I mean, it could be, I guess, like a tank top. But she had her hair tied up. How the heck am I going to draw that? And they're not giving us any clues as to what color her hair is. So if a girl had her hair tied up, I guess we could give her, like, a bun. I don't really know what it would look like. Oh, wait. It's actually looking kind of legit. There we go. Okay. She had her hair tied up and a purple shirt. Okay, not you. You have a purple shirt, but your hair does not look very tied up. Looking for a purple shirt. Hmm, that's a purple jacket. Oh, they're really making this hard now. Hair tied up. She has her hair tied up, just like I drew it, in a bun, but she doesn't have a purple shirt. She does, but her hair's not tied up. The hair tied up part is... It's got to... No, 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 no. I don't want to arrest you, dude. You are um, not who I'm looking for. It's this person. I think that's a purple coat. A little different than a shirt, but I told you they're trying to make it really hard. Go to jail. We're not, we're not going to lose a single one of these. You are guilty. We're almost at our new outfit. That outfit looks pretty good. The Dizzy Intruder. Oh, this person. Okay, what did she do? Here's her report card fought with cellmates she was very rude to a visitor but she's friendly towards the staff i'm gonna keep her in jail all right she has not done all of the time all right you do the crime you gotta do the time i think i know what we should do here we're gonna give them a blue t-shirt that's exactly what we're gonna do but we're also going to give them blue pants even if they weren't wearing blue pants with the clue. I think that they were. This might be another tricky one where they're going to try to give us some kind of disguise. There we go. Blue t-shirt, but also dark blue pants. They're making it really hard for me to draw on this thing too. Like you can't even draw all the way down on the body. And then it keeps marking random colors to the right side. <laughs> okay, we only get two clues. This is going to be really hard. Next clue. And they had dark brown mustache. I know what's going on here, all right? Another pink piggy is on the loose. You can't hide forever, George. All right? I know you're just hiding because you're scared. But you also were very bad. And now you're a criminal. We're going to give him his really worried eyes because he's extremely worried. Ooh, that nose? It doesn't look very good. Should we give him a bat? I don't think I'm going to give him a bat, but I think that he's got these... Like little red cheeks right there, right? Okay. Georgie, we're coming for you, dude, and you're going in jail. Hmm. Blue shirt. Blue shirt. Oh, this is going to be tough. Georgie, I swear, if I don't get this one right, I'm not going to be very happy, all right? Because I almost have a brand new outfit unlocked. Oh, this guy's got a mustache. You guys, I think this is George Piggy. Blue shirt, mustache, arrested. Come on. Can we do it? Let's go, dude. Again, you are guilty. Give me that cash. All right, dude, give me some clues. The wrongdoer had their neck covered. Hmm, that probably means that they're going to have a scarf. All right, what color of scarf should we make it? Should we make it green? No, we got to make it black. I know for a fact she had a red scarf. I think I've seen her before around town. She's kind of a sassy one, if you know what I mean. Here we go, black scarf. All right. Their hair was blonde. I don't think it was. I think it was actually gray. Yeah, I think it was gray. You kind of know where I'm going at with this now? Yeah, I know she's a criminal. We're going to give her red eyes just for the heck of it. And we'll give her some nice red cheeks. Yeah. That's starting to look like someone I've seen before. I don't like how her ears are showing. I'll just like make her completely gray, I guess. There we go. Yes, this is Willow Wolf. I knew it all along. Well, first, we need to finish up on our outfit because I really want it to look like Willow Wolf. I think that that's who we're looking for here, you guys. I don't really remember what Willow even wears. Like, she, it's like this, right? Black shirt, and then she's got, like, the purple stripe down the front. Kind of like this. Yes, this is definitely Willow. And I think she has, like, dark gray or dark blue. 
Maybe like dark blue pants? Kind of like this? I don't know. I think that that would just look better than black because I know her outfit's not completely black. And then we make the gray on her arms. I don't really care how nice it looks. I know I didn't color in the lines. I already know who did it. It was Willow Wolf, and she was listening to music. This woman right here is definitely listening to music, but she doesn't have her neck covered up. So I'm looking for like a scarf and music. You are sweating. You have a scarf and really crazy looking eyes. Wait, neck covered up. Maybe it wasn't a scarf. But what were the other clues? I, was, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy drawing Willow. Oh, wait, no. I think it's going to be her. This is Willow Wolf, you guys. Arrest her. Can we get seven out of seven? I was wrong. So what happens when we get them wrong? The wrongdoer had their neck cover. Oh, they're going to let us do it again. Oh, okay. Blonde hair. That was the clue. So I don't think it's that person. But see, this woman right here... I think she has like red hair. It's hard to see. She doesn't have any up top, but she has some in the back. So blonde hair. Were they talking about a woman? Is this the person? No, they're not listening to music. I don't know. Blonde hair. It's got to be this person, but their neck is not covered up. We're going to go with this person. It's We've never chosen the first answer. Are we wrong? We're wrong again. But that woman, the other person, they don't even have any hair on their head. Let me look at the clues again. The wrongdoer had their neck covered, right? Blonde hair. Okay. And they were listening to music. Oh, I don't think that it said that it was a woman. I think that the last few ones that we did were considered women. So it's got to be this guy. Arrest this dude. Get him out of here. He's guilty. We win. Even though um, I think we got fired because of how many times we were wrong arrested seven people finally we only had to release one dude that's so funny you guys we did it as detectives i think we did a really good job other than the last one i kind of messed up on i told you we were looking for willow wolf i think she ran out the back door so we're gonna have to go find her i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smack the like button and i will see you guys in the next one peace